Today, I'm going to be walking through a couple of the different flows that we've got now in AccuBook um, of how you can get your patients booked in for their second vaccinations. So the first thing I'm going to show is how you can upload patients into AccuBook, even if you didn't use AccuBook for, to get them booked in for their first vaccinations. Um, so I'm going to head over to invite patients and manage bookings. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and invite a list of patients. So then what you need to do is find your uh, the CSV that you wish to upload. And then what this is now doing is checking against NIMS, which is the National Immunization Management Service, uh, which can, will tell us whether those patients have had their first vaccinations or not. Once uh, those checks have happened, you'll get this review patient list. So um, this one is just to tell me that these patients don't match what's on PDS. We're expecting this because they're test patients. So you can see here that none of these patients will get invited to their first vaccination and none of these patients uh, are to be manually booked either. So all of the patients that are uploaded are in this to be invited for their second vaccination bucket. This is because we've got the data back from NIMS to tell us that they have had a first vaccination um, already in the system. So even if these patients weren't vaccinated by yourselves in, within your PCN, you could still upload them uh, into AccuBook so that you can then invite them for their second vaccinations. So this is a two-step process. One is to upload them to get them into AccuBook. Then the second one is to decide and select those patients to then invite them for their second. So I can upload those patients. Um, Once those patients have been uploaded into AccuBook, what you can then do is filter by a couple of different uh, patient attributes to find the patients that you then want to invite. So I'm going to talk you through some of those now. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go down and filter by a waiting invite for second. So this is anyone who's in the system, whether or not they had a first booking, we got data back from NIMS and they moved into a waiting invite for second, or you uploaded them straight into this awaiting invite for second bucket. We can filter that down to whether or not how long since their first vaccination. So this 25 patients, uh, it's been 10 or more weeks since their first vaccination. And for these 35 patients, it's less than 10 weeks since their first vaccination. So that's a good proxy um, for time since their first one. So prioritize those people in the 10 plus weeks bucket. Uh, however, we are going to be including more granular week by week uh, filters for this to, uh, to enable you to look at 12 plus, 11, 10, 9, uh, etc. Another thing you can do here is filter down by the vaccine type. Um, so this filters based on the vaccine type that the patient had for their first one. So you can see here, Lawrence, first vaccine was Pfizer. So if I filter down to Pfizer, there are 10 patients there. If I filter to AstraZeneca only, then Lawrence disappears from that list because he had Pfizer for the first one. One thing that's um, important to note here is when you invite these patients for their second bookings, they will only see the clinics that you've got set up with the right vaccine type. So if patients had Pfizer for their first one, they will only be able to book into Pfizer clinics for their second bookings. I'll go into the clinics page a little bit later. So we filtered down to the patients for Pfizer. Um, and what we can also do is sort these patients. So there's a few different ways in which we can sort them. The one I'm going to do is uh, latest vaccine, least recent. So I've got this 10 plus weeks on here. This means I am sorting by the Pfizer patients who are longer since their first vaccine. So you can see here Lawrence's first vaccine was on Tuesday, the 1st of December. Um, so they would be the furthest away, the longest time has elapsed since their first and second. So these are the most urgent patients for me to invite for their second vaccinations. I can either go through and uh, individually select these patients or I can also click select all at the top. So this has selected all 10 patients. And this means what I can do from here is invite them all to their second vaccination. So if I click invite for second tier, you can see that I'm sending 10 invitations for second bookings. I can amend the end of this text. Um, don't delay, maybe something uh, better than that. Um, and you can send those messages out. So you can see now this is going to send those 10 invitations um, and actually all of these patients are to manually book. They don't have mobile numbers, so I can go back to the all invites list. If you notice those numbers before, you can see that those 10 patients have now been removed from this list of awaiting invite for second um, within this kind of 10 plus weeks bracket. 
that's because they now appear in to manually book for second. So um, take this filter off. You can see, so we've got Lawrence, who I had uh, initially in that waiting invite, is now into manually book. So I can choose to go and book book them in as I would. So you can see here appointments available. They will only be Pfizer clinics that are available. Uh, and I can go through the flow as I would normally and get this patient booked in. Lawrence is now booked in for their second uh, vaccination and they will appear in uh, booked second now. There we go. There's Lawrence now in booked second. Another thing I wanted to show you was the vaccine sessions page and the different, um, some of the different columns that we have now in here to allow you to get set up for second booking. So I'm going to hide my past clinics there. So you can see here the, some of the clinics we've got in the future. So the columns that you really care about for getting set up for your second vaccinations are this um, vaccine drop down. So whether or not you are allowing patients that had their first jabs as Pfizer or first jabs as AstraZeneca. And then also this clinic type uh, for doses. So you can either book a clinic, uh, uh, set up a clinic as for both. So this would be a patient, any patient booking in for first or second can see. First only, so this would be only first, um, only people booking in for their first vaccinations would see this one and second only. So as you can probably imagine what this means, only, only patients booking in for their second vaccinations would see this clinic. Another thing you can do is set that clinic as hidden. So you can still set that as second only. If you have that as hidden, then it won't appear to any patients. It'll only appear to any accurate users when they click on those links um, so that they can book patients in, but not necessarily publish that to patients if they want to hold some slots back. This could be for, for example, housebound patients that they want to get booked in and reserve those slots. <laughs> 